So this involves a bunch of my favorite things. Saving time, saving money, doing things naturally, and tractor work. Hello my friends, welcome back to Flannel Farms. My name is Brian, and I'm glad you are here. This has been our crop area for the past two seasons, and what we realized was it did not have the organic material and nutrients that we needed to get really good harvests. This used to be commercial farmland, so they brought in all the supplements they needed. They brought in fertilizer when it needed fertilizer, and et cetera, et cetera, herbicides, and those kind of things. And we're trying not to do that. We're trying to do this all natural. So we realized this needed more organic material and the ground needed to be softened and churned up. But we try not to till if we can help it. So this was done naturally. How do we do it naturally, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Those guys. What's up, pigs? Pigs are God's tillers. Yes, even you. This is our 400 pound tilling machine. But unlike man-made tillers, when pigs till, they leave behind nutrients. So, this was the first time we've put pigs in this area. We're gonna close it off now, and we're going to sow an Austrian field pea. This is a cool season legume, and what this should help do is restore nitrogen. It pulls some out of the soil, but it also pulls it out of the air. The trick with nitrogen fixing plants is you have to harvest them before they start producing their seeds. So we don't want to let this get all the way to maturity. We want to eliminate it before that happens. And we'll do that this spring with pigs. They will come through, they'll eat it, they'll turn it up, and they'll turn it into this so that we can plant our spring garden. So we have to move their hot wire back into the wood line and then we can start casting some seeds. Due to a technical error on my part, you did not see us just use the harrowing disc. But if you can see the ground now, the harrowing disc churns it up a little bit, but really what it does is it smooths out the already soft soil. As you can see where grass was growing, the harrowing disc doesn't tear it up like a tiller. It just kind of leaves some grooves. But if the soil is nice and soft and fluffy, levels all this out. Mostly. There's still some bumps. That's okay. We're not aiming for perfect. <laughs> That's okay. We're not aiming for perfection. We're going to cast our Austrian winter field peas now and then we'll disc one more time and that will give us just the right amount of soil coverage for it. There's a very good reason why we got Austrian field peas. Winter Austrian field peas. And that's because it's what our local supplier had. <laughs> but make sure you have this essential tool for hand casting. Can't do it without it. It's a bag. You need a bag to hold your seeds. You can't carry a 50 pound sack. That's crazy. So this involves a bunch of my favorite things. Saving time, saving money, doing things naturally, and tractor work. So we left the posts up over there, and we just moved the wire over there. So when it's time to put the pigs back, it won't cost us anything because it's already set up. And all we have to do is close in that side with the stakes that we've already pulled out to put over there. There's a bunch of money savings. This was about 50 bucks in field peas. The pigs did all the tilling. I got to play with my tractor, although it's running a little rough, so we're gonna have to go mess with that equipment again. 
but this is going to also revitalize this soil for us. Mrs. Flannel's come up with a different idea. Originally, we were thinking of revitalizing this area, planting the cover crop. The pigs would come in in the springtime, eat it all up, root it all up, and then we'd plant another crop garden, which we just call the bulk things that we do crop. We have a kitchen garden up by the house. But you came up with a different idea. What was the different idea? You're so the grass here, you guys have seen, is kind of insane out here. So my thought was we should just leave the peas and then we have that concrete roller, take yeah. the tractor with the concrete roller around planting time and just squash it and make a mat to try to shade out the grasses that will grow. And then we'll stick our seeds kind of inside of that. What seeds? Well, what are you thinking so now? Well, All subject to change, mind you. This is not set in stone. <gasps> so I think we'll make a salad bar. Yes. We'll just plant out, instead of trying to do rows of the beets, we'll plant out beets and collards and radish and all manner of stuff and like squashes, everything that gets really big and messy and just fill the space to try to keep the grass down. And then we'll just let the pigs in here in the fall and let them finish it up. Because what we've noticed is that squash grows really well where pigs were. As a matter of fact, we found, I don't know, 10 or 11 squash. Just, and we didn't plant them, just these, we found They're these volunteers. two here. They're volunteers. So, we're not gonna fight it anymore. We've planted squash. <laughs> we're not gonna fight it. <laughs> We've planted squash in two different locations and had abysmal harvests out of it. But we have found, what did we find? A 10 pound pumpkin back there? Mm -hmm. Hiding in the ground. In the pig area that was a volunteer. So, what we did basically was tried to mimic that here. And pumpkins are a good crop for humans, they're a good crop for cattle. They can graze on the tops, they can eat the squash. It, Apparently they'll self-seed. So we'll they'll self-seed. <laughs> you just smash them. And they, uh, they keep by themselves. Trying to store them is not hard, you just keep them in a cool, dry place. But who knows, subject to change. All right, we've got a bunch more things to do that aren't gonna be on this video. Thanks for joining us today, keep growing as you grow. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And share this video with your friends who live in the city. Or on a farm. Or in the space station. We don't care. Just share the video. We'll <laughs> see you next time. Bye.